Hey guys, it has been forever since I've done a video. It was probably like three months ago by now. And uh, yeah, when I was on here last, I was talking about flare ups and I was talking about the flare up that I was going through, which was super severe to the point where I had just gone off work and was trying to figure out my health because it was just declining. I was having a hard time getting out of bed because I was so physically and mentally exhausted. Um, and yeah, a lot has changed since then. So finally getting the time to get to a video. So that's why I'm here today. Just a quick update on my life and what's happened kind of since I did that last video. Um, I had to do a lot of soul searching. My health was declining. It wasn't getting any better. I felt like I was not in control. So along uh, with the help of my doctor, my counselor, my psychologist, uh, my family, my friends, I came to the decision that I had to leave my job. So I did. Um, I quit just because the Monday to Friday, the high stress, uh, the long hours, it just, it just didn't work for me anymore, especially just with these residuals that have constantly been a roller coaster in my life. And I just didn't, couldn't do it anymore. So I quit my job and I was going to pursue some other things. Um, I was going to get into fitness training as well as more inspirational speaking. Uh, just two things that I've been very passionate about, but just never had the time to kind of pursue. Um, and so I decided to kind of go after that instead, which would give me a more balanced lifestyle. So I quit my job and then guess what happened? COVID-19 came along. <laughs> And I'm not joking, it was like a week after that. Um, but that's okay, now I'm just kind of at home working towards all those things in the meantime until life resumes again and that's all right. So um, I'm hopping on here today to talk to you guys about COVID-19 because the amount of messages I get in a day from you guys, oh, it breaks my heart just because I know you guys are scared. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about COVID-19 and how it affects us. So I'm just gonna answer the questions that I most commonly get around COVID-19. Uh, so the first one is, um, are we more susceptible to catching it than other people because we've had GBS or if because uh, we have CIDP? And the answer is no. So the GBS CIDP Foundation um, has actually put out a statement regarding that. And they have said that no, just because we've had these illnesses or because we have um, CIDP, for example, where it's ongoing, um, we are not more susceptible to catching it than any other healthy person. That being said, if you are on an immunosuppressive drug, um, so if you have CIDP and you're currently on a med medication that lowers your immune system or weakens your immune system, I should say, um, then yeah, you would be more susceptible because your immune system um, is going to not be able to fight off COVID as quickly as somebody else. So um, those are the people that would be considered um, a high risk. Another common question that I've been getting is around, um, for those of us that have had GBS and CIDP, uh, whether if we catch COVID-19, are we at a higher risk of having a more serious case? Now, unfortunately, that's a question that we can't answer right now. It's just too early to tell. And doctors just don't know much, much about COVID-19, so they're still learning a lot as well. I know for me, like it does kind of worry me while well, I was on a ventilator for um, almost three months. So if I got COVID-19, would I automatically have lung issues and breathing issues and have to go on a ventilator again? And like I said, it's just too early to tell. And these are things that we probably won't know until after the fact. Another common question I'm getting is, will COVID-19 uh, trigger cases of GBS? And again, it's too early to tell. But my presumption is yes. I'm, I'm not a doctor by any means, please don't quote me on that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yes, just because it's, uh, it can cause an autoimmune response, just as anything can. So uh, any kind of respiratory illness, the flu, um, we've seen it in H1N1, we've seen it in SARS where there were cases of GBS that um, came on shortly after these people had these illnesses. So I would say there's no reason why um, it couldn't do the same. Again, it's not something that we're gonna know right away. I imagine that the GBS um, CIDP Foundation would, would do a lot of research around this um, kind of later down the road and be able to look back on the stats and, and see from there. So for those reasons, I do think we need to be extra careful. Again, we're not considered a high risk because we've had GBS, um, but we should be careful because we just don't know enough. Um, and we really would wanna to try to avoid catching this and being Extra careful meaning self-isolation and washing your hands plenty times a day and not 
um, exposing yourself to other people if you don't have to. That doesn't mean that we should freak out and worry and just constantly have this fear that we're going to catch COVID-19 and die. Um, you need to keep yourself in check. You need to keep your stress levels down. That's also going to help you with your immune system. We want our immune system strong. So, I mean, I'm exercising. I'm eat, trying to eat healthy. I'm drinking plenty of water. I'm avoiding people and I'm uh, washing my hands a lot. So those are the things that we can do, that we do have control over. I know this is a tough time for everyone. There's a lot of stress. Um, I had a poll on my Instagram the other day and I think it was like 80% of people are feeling more stressed. And I get that. I mean, I'm unemployed now. Um, my fiance who owns his own wedding DJ business is also unemployed. He can't do any weddings right now. Um, so we're at home. We're now homeschooling our three children, which is a whole, whole other stress. Um, but you know what we do have, and that's our health. And so we feel really fortunate, and especially me. And to be honest, um, this break has done wonders for my health. The last time I was on, like I said, I felt like I was dying. And I, that's not an exaggeration. That's what I felt like. And now since I haven't been having to wake up at six in the morning and I haven't had to work 40 hours a week and I'm at home and I can take breaks and rest when I need to, I've realized how badly I felt for so long. And now like I just feel like a new person and a new me. Um, so don't, don't judge me, but I'm actually really enjoying this break that COVID-19 is giving me. I also finally have the time to work on my book. I'm so excited. I've literally been rewriting my uh, book Happily Ever After for the last two years and I've just never had the time to really focus on it and then I got sick again and never had the energy to do anything and so now being at home is forcing me to get back into that so I'm really excited about that. So that being said, I also have a bunch of boxes of books laying around, um, not a lot, but of, of my old books and Something I thought about the other day that just breaks my heart is that if somebody is going through GBS right now, especially if they're in ICU, I mean, they're fighting GBS alone now and I can't even imagine that. So I want to get rid of my old books and ship them out to anybody that needs it. So if you know somebody that um, has recently been diagnosed with GBS or maybe they're recovering at home or maybe even um, a nurse, maybe somebody that is treating somebody with GBS, just anybody that if you think that they could um, get use out of my book and help them through their journey with GBS right now, um, let me know. Reach out to me on social media, shoot me an email, find me on my website, um, just let me know and I will be sending out those books because I don't need them anymore um, and I will ship them out to whoever needs them for free. The other thing that I'm gonna be doing is a video for people that are recovering now at home because I know a lot of you that are recovering right now from GBS, you've just gotten home and now you don't have access to physio. And a lot of people think like they need their physiotherapist to help them, which isn't true. I mean, physiotherapists are fantastic, but there are things that you can do yourself. Um, so I'm gonna do a video of just some kind of little workouts and some kind of um, little exercises that you can do sitting in a wheelchair, sitting on your couch, standing, walking, kind of wherever you're at to help you with that progression. All right, guys, that's the end of my video today. Um, it was really nice to be on and chat with you guys. As usual, you can always find me on social media. I am always on Instagram. That's my favorite place to be. Um, I'll always share a lot of stories, especially being at home now, um, and a lot of information and stuff, and as well through Facebook. So you can find me there. Take care, guys. Stay healthy. Keep washing those hands. Stay home, and uh, we will talk to you guys soon.